Hey guys, Karen Wolf here in the art studio this evening. <laughs> we are going to paint again. I am going to paint um, Queen Anne's lace, I think, on this board. Um, I'm just looking for something, and this is what I come up with. <laughs> so, y'all just have to put up with me. What I want to do, y'all tell me if this is something that, uh, that I don't know if I can move that up without knocking a whole ton of paintings over. I've got paintings everywhere. I'm trying to get ready for my live sale. So, let's see if I'm live, speaking of. Got to get uh, y'all up here on my Facebook. Yep, there you are. There you are. I have to do that because um, I can't see. Uh, I can't see when people are on on my uh, phone. So um, there's that. All right. So let's see if we get you all squared away here. Let's see if you can see there. I think so. Hold in just a smidge closer. Well, there they went. <laughs> Told you. I have paintings everywhere. Everywhere. All right. Uh, doing, just um, going to paint some Queen Anne's lace, what I was saying. Oh, shoot, there goes that. Um, goodness gracious sakes. Everything's falling. Everything's going everywhere. How are you all doing? Say hey when you jump on here so I can see who's on. Who's on here? Elaine. Welcome, Elaine. All right. How are you doing this evening? Good deal. I got a gnat keep flying around in here. It's getting on my nerves. All right, so I'm not sure how this is going to show up on this gray board, but we'll give it a whirl. I'm just going in here with a half inch flat, putting in my color here to see if this is going to show up. It might. It might. So, there we go. Hey, Savannah. How are you doing? All right, so I'm going to go in and get some green, a little bit of blue. Just make a dark. I should probably wash that white off of there. Just make a dark, uh, darker green. Just going to put some stems in here. I'll rinse this off a little bit and get a little darker on my green. Get me some paper towels going. So, yeah, I've been trying to, to get ready for my live sale. I've been moving a bunch of paintings over here from the um, art studio. <clears throat> and I've got stuff everywhere. So, get ready for that. Next week, August the 12th, is the, is the big day. I just added a little bit of purple so I can get some. All I'm doing uh, this evening, I'm going to try and paint with just a green, purple, I had black on here because I was painting that. Uh, a little bit of blue and some white. So we're just going to do uh, just some green and purple just to lighten that purple up. Or lighten that, or lighten, goodness gracious. Darken that purple up a little bit. It sounds like Joe's coming in with the side by side. So you'll have that. Lots of different activity goes on here. Uh, when when you're working from home and you're doing your lives from home <laughs> so these little things uh kind of show up if you're looking underneath but if you're looking down on the flower it really doesn't show up that much so um i don't know why i did that because i was going to make that one not show up so much like that so maybe we'll do this one like that but I'm just putting some stems in. Queen Anne's Lace is just a real pretty flower. So I just wanted to do uh, do that this evening. Just for something different and just for something fun. May show, may uh, work out and it may not. But what I was going to say earlier. Um, something that I've been wanting to do. And I keep thinking I'm going to do it. And I get down here and I can't think of a thing to, to paint. Um, is I would like to do... A painting and just all uh, like black and white grays dark light you know middle tone just all grays I just I don't know what makes me want to do that but I do so don't know sometimes I get ideas in my head y'all ever do that just get an idea in your head you want to do something and 
that's what you just go with. So just getting, I'm just putting some green greenery in here, just starting out. I had this over here. I don't know why I moved it over here. I don't know. It's another thing. Who knows why I do what I do. I just do things. And that's not picked up down here. I wanted that to look like grass. Not two things sticking out in the midair. So, y'all doing good this evening? Everybody have a good day? I had a better day today than yesterday. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Yesterday was my birthday. And, uh, and, you know, I don't make a big deal over my birthday. But uh, you'd think of all the days of the year <laughs> that you would have a good day. It would be your birthday. <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It wasn't. Oh, my gosh. It was... And then it, and they have these little thingies that stick out underneath. Y'all ever seen them? They have these little, the little, and I know this isn't like exactly what they look like, but it resembles, resembles such a thing. They have those little things that stick out little underneath. The things come up underneath. Not that far. Oh, I probably should get some yellow. I do need yellow, don't I? I might have some in that other plate that I dropped in the floor that we painted pumpkins with the other day. Did y'all see the pumpkin? Uh, or not, yeah, it wasn't pumpkin. It was uh, sunflower. Did you all see the sunflower painting the other day on wood? Uh, that turned out great. I might say. Did you all see this? It's right here. That was the that was a cool sunflower. Painted that the other evening on wood. If you all haven't seen it, you should go back and watch it on the replay. So this I'm just getting some yellow. Yeah, I should have used that plate. It had all the colors on it already. Mm, sometimes I'm not very I'm just adding some yellow to this green color, just a little bit. On wood, it's a little bit different to paint on, especially when the boards are all going this way. So uh, that's just something you have to just deal with a little bit. The, the wood just kind of is a little rough and, and different. Just adding some darks. Now our lights in here where I had my darks. Added my new paintings to the tutorials, well, uh, to my website and the tutorials. You guys will have to check those out. I love, love, love the August paintings. I uh, hurried up and did those in a hurry. Um, this time I waited till the last minute uh, and I couldn't believe um, how good they turned out. I just loved them. The moon is awesome. If you haven't seen them, the moon, um, what else? Hey, Rick. Hey, Anna. The moon uh, was awesome and um, the pumpkin is a really cool one. Those are all out on my Art by Karen Wolf website. Uh, in the tutorials, um, in the uh, virtual, they're called right now, they're called um, online classes or something to that effect. I'm changing that. I don't, I don't ever call them that. And when people go out to look for them, they're probably thinking, what in the world is this on here? Well, I don't ever call them that. So I'm going to change that. I had to change my website up a little bit since we moved the in-studio classes. So that was something different. But things are all starting to come together. Just doing some different things now. Hey, Millie. Hey, Stephanie. Y'all been painting? Did y'all notice that I say painting? Somebody told me the other day that I had an accent. <laughs> 
they liked my accent. It was Tammy. And uh, that's funny because I never thought of myself having an accent. But I guess we all have an accent, don't we? All right, so I just put a little bit of lights in there, some dark, a little bit of light, just those little fluffity things. And just touch it in some greens for grasses there. I'm going to rinse my brush. And I think it also, um, they have just the littlest, tiniest. I don't know why I did that. I'm going to get rid of my, I'm going to get rid of my chalk. Um, because that's just, just a distraction. So I'm going to take some, um, white, a little bit of, um, uh, and I said I wasn't going to use that gray, but I am, aren't I? Or black, I mean. I am using that black because I'm making it my gray color for my flower, for my white. And I'm just going to add a little bit of blue to it. And it's probably right now not showing up very good for you guys. Not too bad. Just a little bit, it makes your hand hurt. Still, it does. Oh, my goodness. I hate that. I know you've had, uh, it's been a while, and you told me you were just getting, getting going a while back. Well, it's been a while. That's been a good while ago that you said that. I hope it comes back and doesn't hurt soon. I know I've struggled with my eye. Well, both my eyes. I've had the awfulest time. Everybody on here probably th thought something was really bad wrong with me because every time I would get on a Facebook Live, I would look like death. Um, but I've had such trouble. I'm just tap, tap, tapping on here. I'm uh, getting this uh, lace up here. Um, but I had so much trouble with styes in my eyes. It was just a mess. It was just an absolute nightmare. I haven't been able to wear my glasses for a month. And, oh my gosh. If you know me, I hate to wear my glasses. I just do. Or I may not wear my contacts. What I say? Sometimes I can't walk talking to them at the same time. Um, but I have had, uh, had to wear these dumb glasses. I'm just tapping this in. And it's so annoying. So annoying to me. But at least I can see. At least I can see. But I'm hoping pretty soon I've got a doctor's appoint eye doctor appointment on the 17th. And I'm going back and um, my eyes are looking a whole lot better. So that's good. So I can, I can relate to having issues. And I know my husband, he's had some issues with his knees and, his, and of course I have trouble with my knees and his shoulder and some different things like that and stuff like that just it's hard on you but we all have our things we all have our things so hey Sheila welcome 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 thank you all for jumping on here and watching y'all say hey when you jump on here that helps me out a good bit get the word out about this crazy stuff I'm doing in here all right, so we've got that. We'll get this little green coming down. That we'll make this go out just a little bit farther. There. Ooh, golly, man, Karen, that was a. It was a big swarp. <laughs> Definitely didn't need to do that, did I? All right. It needs something. Needs something. What do you all think it needs? Another color of a flower in there growing with it, you all think? Is that what you think? I think it needs... Uh, Definitely need something. Mm. 
what what color flower what kind of flower something else should we put in there you think something not blue because it's got a lot of blues in the thing yellow red what do you think you guys are being awful quiet And this one will be probably in the sale on Thursday next week, August the 12th at 7 is the sale. The live sale is coming. It is coming. Just tap, tap, tapping. Tap, 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 tapping. think it needs like a little one right there maybe up a little bit higher but that'll be fine. But in my, um, I can't hardly talk sometimes when I'm concentrating so much. <laughs> can't talk when I'm in concentration. But in my um, tutorials and things, and my, uh, my memberships and the tutorials that I have available online, this is what um, I do. I teach adults and children how to paint and become better painters uh, in an uh, easy to follow step-by-step -step instruction. And this is what I do. And I, sh I really go into more detail in the videos um, by telling you what brushes to use and the paint colors to use and um, it's it's a fun time it's a great way to learn to paint it's a great way to become a better painter and if you're interested in painting don't let fear um, hold you back jump in there do it have fun with it because don't do like I did. I, I waited a long time before I finally, where's that stem to that thing? Um, before I finally did it. And I wish so badly that I wouldn't have waited as long as I did. Because you, lo you lose time, guys. You lose time of your life. We're not going to live forever. I mean, our time on this earth is is you know, a blink, and we're going to be gone, so in the time that you have, do, do what you want to do, do the fun stuff, and this to me is fun, and if you think this is something that would be fun, then start doing it, if you think you want to learn to paint, if you want to learn to play guitar, or you want to learn to, you know, do whatever it is, do it. Don't let fear keep you.
from doing what you want to do. Um, like I said, I did. And finally, um, uh, if my mom hadn't told me to do the canvas or if I just hadn't decided I wanted to try the slates in the first place is what I started with. I'm just getting a little liner here. I'm going to just touch in these a little bit. Um, I did the... First I did the slates and that was fun. And then mom said, you know, you need to get off those slates and paint canvas. And I did. And I'm so thankful that I did. I mean, it was like... You guys, so fun, so fun this is. And you look and you watch and you think, oh, I can't do that. I used to say that to, I used to say that too. I used to watch people paint and, and think, well, I couldn't do that. Only artists, real artists can do that. Well, how do you think you become an artist? You paint. Pink. Anna, you think pink? Um, thank you for that. I thought y'all forgot about me. <laughs> you didn't forget, did you? But if you don't get past the fear, and you don't pick up the brush, and you don't try to figure it out, you're never going to figure it out. You're never going to figure it out, guys. Never. You can't just be a watcher. You have to you have to be a doer. It's fun to watch. I do it too. I watch people paint. It's the funnest. It's so fun because it's so relaxing, isn't it? It's like mesmerizing. It puts me to sleep. I uh I watch it on YouTube and <laughs> wherever, TV, whatever, whoever. And uh, it is, it's mesmerizing. It puts you to sleep. But in the videos and in the class and the um, memberships and all that, I go through it step by step and, and I show you uh, everything. I don't just paint and talk like I'm doing right now. I tell you what I'm doing. But here I'm just talking to you guys a lot. I'm just trying to get some really acrylic dries two to three shades darker guys and it just does dry 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 and then you you think it's uh, bright enough and you think you've got it light enough and then shoo, it dries you think you got it light enough and then it dries okay so we're gonna get some little pink flowers you think little little pink ones hmm what kind of little pink flowers are we going to do? I don't have any red. I'm going to have to find some red. Well, that's all dried up. Not wanting to come out of there. <clears throat> and this is just acrylic paint. I paint with acrylic. So, um, I think I'm going to get a different brush. I paint with acrylic and um, it's easy. It's pretty forgiving. It's not real expensive. You can paint with just whatever. You can paint with the um, little craft paints when you're starting out or you can paint with, um, hey Joyce, welcome. You can paint with uh, I'm just doing some little tappy flowers, just tapping. Just some little, just for some color, little color in there. Um, but you can, try to look and see where I want these. You can um, start out with the craft paints or the or whatever you want. I always uh, I suggest like um, the Liquitex Basics at first when you're when you're starting out is what I suggest, and then move up to the Liquitex 
a professional if you do some, some more serious stuff. But you can use any of the any of the paints that um, you know that you that you have or that you want to try. Um, just whatever. There's lots of things, um, lots of different brands. I mean, there's you know paint you can get at um, all different um, Walmart. Uh, Michael's, um, Hobby Lobby, Jerry's Artorama, Dick Blick. There's a lot of different places that you can buy paint. In the um, tutorials, I give you links and tell you where, you know, the kind of, the color to use, the uh, brushes to use and all that. And I recommend the brushes, but you can use whatever, whatever brushes that you like. If you've already got brushes, you don't have to use what I say. You can use whatever you've got. Hey, Tina. I've been seeing you a lot on my, on my posts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. You guys are great. So I'm just pulling down just some indications of some stems of these little pink flowers, just something to make it look so they're not floating in midair. But as you can see, I'm not, um, not doing a lot. Just an indication, really, of things. Not, not a lot going on there. Just, uh, so they're not floating out, out in the midair. So... And then over here, we've got just a blank place. I'm wondering if I, if I add another one there, that gives me one, two, three. That's a four. That'll make it... Um, it just looks odd where it's blank right there. What do y'all think? Do you, does it look, I can't see from here, does it look odd where it's blank right there? Should I put something in that spot? These two come across right at that stopping point. I don't know, I'm torn. I need to go back, step back and look at it. My battery's done in my iPad. Plug it in. Righty. Okay. I'm going to step back and look at it a little bit. See what we got. I don't know. I'm thinking it might need something like right in here. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to point it the other way. Bring it into the thing, I think. Instead of out, I didn't want it to be going out. It might be a flop. It might be great. You never know till you try it. And a lot of times, what's good too is to um, do um, do a practice one on your uh, mixed media tablet. That's a fun thing to do. Is to um, practice on on that first. That is the coolest thing. Have y'all? Do y'all have one uh, mixed media uh, tablet? I'm just doing some gray color here for my background, just like I did for my those other ones. Um, the mixed media uh, tablets are so cool to um, to paint with. They're um, good to just draw in, paint in. I'll show you here in a minute. I 
they're um, just real cool to um, keep a almost like a journal of your art is fun for those. There. Not sure if that was a good a good move or a bad move. And just keep on making them. <laughs> we'll just keep making them in here everywhere. This is a work in progress, isn't it? This is just a. I don't know. Sometimes I do that. Sometimes I just, and that one I should, I got them even there. Maybe this is a painting to show you what not to do. I don't know. I'll like it, I think. Let's do some high weeds. got to paint and paint afraid. You just got to be brave. You cannot worry about it. If you paint something and you don't like it, you can paint it, paint something else. You know, do something different. Paint over it. I painted over this thing. It was uh, some kind of a sign I bought at the store. It said something on it. I can't remember. Something about family. I painted it. I think I like it. Y'all like it? What y'all think? Hey, Missy, welcome. I'm just having some big fun here, just playing again. They are pink and um, white. Goes really pretty together. That was a great idea, Anna. Thank you for that pink suggestion. Love that. Love, love, love that. I'm going to get this one a little bit more. And I'm just touching with the barely... The barely the edge of that. This is so relaxing too, guys. If you need some therapy, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. All right, and I was going to show you the mixed uh, media tablet. This is Henry's. I don't know where mine's at. I think I buried under some uh, paintings back there. But here's, um, here's what I was talking about. It's a little uh, tablet, a book um, a, that's bound, that um, has paper, hard, you know, paper in it that you can paint on. And this is Henry's. We need to, Henry and I need to paint. This was his um, green rabbit. <laughs> he did a free, He sometimes he just does like, I kind of drew it a little bit, but he painted that on his own. And here's his little uh, tent, little teepee and campfire we drew. So um, I need to date, date, start dating them because I, I like to date them so that I know um, when he, he painted this one back in July of 2020. So uh, I like to date them so I know when he paints them. So... But anyways, this is good for you you all too, not just kids. It's great. It's just a great art journal. Uh, and it's um, a good thing to practice your painting um, so that um, you uh, can put it on there first and then uh, put it on the canvas so that you can have it all uh, laid out. 
uh, beforehand. And you'll know, you know, you'll get your composition and everything uh, correct. Sometimes if you do it on the fly, <laughs> you just never know if, if what is in the end, the end result's going to be great or not. You just, can all, we can always be hopeful. The composition matters. All that, all those painting rules, the values, the composition, the, all that matters. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. I think it would be pretty with a little bit of yellow. Some light yellow ones. Y'all think? Y'all like yellow? Just a little, little touch. Just some of the, pretend like there's like, you know, there's little, just little pretty flowers. This this would be like a really like little wildflowers. And two, step back. Oh, for pity's sake. Make sure you, you step back every now and then and look at it. Because if you don't, um, you can't see when you're right up in it, when your face is right up in it. You can't see. And sometimes if you just flick it uh, with some paint, sometimes that's really cool too. But I don't think, I'm not so sure this one needs it. We can do it a little bit and I'll show you. If you take just a little bit of uh, water in your white paint, just take a little bit of water, go into your white or maybe some yellow and white or orange and white color this a little bit and you get it a little bit soupy if you flick it on there a little bit they look like little little tiny weed little flowers and stuff in the weeds so that's cool yeah like that do y'all like the way that turned out pretty cool stuff isn't it what do you think about that could you all see that at the bottom Sometimes there's a shadow down there, and I don't get it all the way down to the bottom. There you can see it. All right, there we go. Pretty cool stuff, huh? And you can keep lightening that up, uh, the white. You can keep going and lighten it and lighten it and lighten it. Um, it um, acrylic just dries darker. It just dries two to three shades darker, so it'll just keep getting... Um, darker and darker but that's just something you get used to you figure it out after a while you just you you learn how to adjust for it and you and you figure that out so i hope you guys enjoyed that that was a lot of fun that is the coolest thing um just something just simple i know there's four there but we'll offset some of that to make the odd you could you know you could put like a bigger one or something down in there just try to keep your numbers odd not even numbers. So, thank you all for joining. I hope you guys enjoyed that painting. Um, I sure did. I'm going to jump off here, and I've got a, a call I've got to get on for my, my group. And um, I'll see you back on here next time, and we'll paint something else. Um, not sure what. Um, I'm, like I said, I was going to try think, I was tr trying to think of something to do with, uh, um, like a grayscale, like something, um, just use one color and just show the different, um, darks and lights and, uh, with something just all, all in one color, like a black and white photo, but a black and white, gray and white painting. Uh, something like that. I don't know. I just think that'd be fun. That'd be something different. We've not done that before. So we'll see. All right. You all join me. Come and paint with me. Um, come back and watch. I appreciate you guys. Y'all take care. God bless you. And I'll see you back on here uh, again real soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.